everybody, welcome to my studio. This is Rick and I'm going to be doing a demonstration video here of a miniature painting that's part of my uh, second series of miniature paintings and you can find this on my project page and you can find the link in the description of this to take you to the project page where you'll see my uh, uh, series uh, two uh, of uh, many paintings. So uh, this will be the setup I'll be using, uh, my palette and uh, the artwork. And um, this subject is, is sunflowers. And this is the template that you'll find on the project page. Just a line drawing of some sunflowers. And this is a, uh, an imaginary composition, so there's no photograph to look at, as is the case with all the paintings in this series. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to begin uh, painting uh, with some sap green. And maybe a little quinacrid and gold I'll add to that. And uh, I'm going to be painting uh, these, these small uh, features here on the, on the, the sunflower that uh, just this green and um, I'm just going to paint it with a, a light wash it's kind of a light middle value I'll come back later and add uh, a little bit of a darker uh, color to define some of the edges right now I just want to get the, the green just a, a light, kind of a light green middle value down on that. And uh, that ought to do it. And um, before I, I go to the next step, I'm going to dry that quickly because I'm going to put some yellow in here and I don't want it to, to run into that. So let me dry this. Okay, that's dry. I'm going to get rid of the, the green off my palette for the time being. And uh, I'm going to take a number eight round brush. I'm going to use a combination of Hansa Yellow and uh, Gamboge. Just a little of that. And uh, I'm going to paint uh, the petals. More gamboge into my mixture. The petals here on the, the sunflower. Make sure that I have plenty, plenty of paint in my brush. It, I, I want to try and get a coverage with the first you know, touch of the brush. Just distribute that paint. I'm, just, uh, I'm applying pretty much a flat tone at the moment, but uh, I'll, I'll be putting some darker uh, kind of gold colors on here to help give a little bit more, uh, uh, make it three-dimensional, give it some form. But right now, I just want to get this... Uh, Kind of base layer of yellow down. You know these mini paintings. You don't you don't have to get too too involved with them. Just keep it simple. Have a little bit of fun with it, and you can make some nice little paintings. These are, uh, you know, simpler designs or compositions by design. Um, I don't want these to be long, involved paintings for, for people to do. Just, some, just trying to trying to go with simple for now. And uh, I'm going to take a, a. I have a fine mist bottle here. I like to let some of that color run a little bit. Pick it up later in the in the in the background just a little bit 
get a bottle here with a little more water in it. We're running out in that one. All right. So now what I want to do again is dry this. First, I'm going to pick up quickly uh, some of this excess moisture from spraying. Uh, just let that color run a little bit. Not a whole lot. So I'm going to come in with some violets and I don't want it to get too gray. So let me dry this again. All right, that's dry. And um, I'm going to move some of that. So next I'm going to do the centers of these flowers. And this technique I like to use on those sometimes, and it's going to, going to involve using a a deep violet. This is actually mauve, but you can mix it with a lizard crimson and ultramarine blue if you wanted. I'm going to use this quinacridone violet, which is an interest, interesting color, kind of a red violet. And next, I'm going to take some quinacridone gold. And I'll be using that. So uh, I'm going to start with some of the mauve and I'm going to paint the center here. I'm going to take some of the quinacridone and violet And put that onto the to the moth. Then I'm going to take some of the quinacridone and gold. I'm going to start away from those colors this at, at the beginning, and I'm going to work them into them. Take just a little bit more of this violet into this. So there's that. Now I'm going to do the same with the other center here. Just go back. So there's the mauve. And I'll take some of this violet. Quinacridone violet. And then I'll take some of the uh, quinacridone gold. I'll start to show where some of that comes out into where the petals Start to separate. I should be doing a little of that up here. Probably should have done that a little earlier, but it's, it's still fine. Now I'll use a little of this violet.
So those are the centers. And once again, I want to dry this. Hey, that's dry. At this point, you could you could do uh, two different things here. You could proceed and for, uh, develop these fl uh, flowers a little farther and, and, and leave this more of a white background. Or um, the way I'm going to go is I'm going to actually work in some violets, some red violets in the background, and then I'll develop the flowers. So to do that, I'm going to take uh, some of this red violet and start working around the petals. Keep the keep moving with a with a color here, so I don't get any hard edges where I don't want them, and I don't get any backwashes. Yeah, a little more color. A bit more here. Like I said, you could leave this more white uh, of the paper. You don't have to put the violet on there, but I kind of like it. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a spray bottle here to soften this and diffuse this color a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to spray that with this fine mist spray. I'll just keep a tissue handy for when I get a little too much moisture or if I want to change the, a wash or something. And now Gonna continue down here. There's a separation, so I wasn't worried about stopping here and letting that area dry because there's a little break in it. Bring that violet up to there. I'm going to let this just kind of take some water and, and let that kind of dissolve. I'm going to add a few touches of some violet here. This is a very red violet. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got an area here. I'm going to bring some of that in here. That area yellow actually. And we have some some space in between the intersection of a few of these petals. I'll probably come back and go a little darker there. I think right now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna dry this. All right, that's dry. And what I'm going to do now 
is uh, take some quinacridone and gold. I'm gonna take a, some of this gold color. And I'm going to start to paint uh, you know, some of these petals in these areas where you're going to have uh, shadows cast, where you're going to have you know some where the, where they overlap. So I'm going to just help with some edge development here using the quinacridone gold, kind of going on the exterior edge of the, the shape that's overlapping. So um, it's like here, this is an exter exterior edge of this one. So I'm going to go around that. Go this way here. Perhaps a little bit there. bit more here. Soften that edge, give a little more coverage on that. Now I'm going to do uh, the same here on this flower. Few of these, I'll just give the impression that they're they're kind of in shadow, and then I want to I don't want to forget about these up here. take some of uh, the green actually play it safe I'm going to dry this so I don't get any of the green coming down into the, uh, the yellow all right that's dry so I'm going to take some of the sap green a little, little royal blue just a touch of pyrrole red it's a little too much let me go back start again here so I actually need a, a little lighter green here I want to paint the, the stem on this Let's see if this is dark enough
a little darker there. I'm going to put a darker edge on the stem. Just a little water here to soften the transition of that green. All right. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of this. Uh, I'm going to use a little quinacrid and burnt orange. Just a little bit. I'm going to show some line to help describe some of these edges. Quite as much down here, but just a little bit. Get a little darker right here in between some of these petals. I think this one needs to be a little darker. Now, once again, I want to dry it. That's dry. I'm going to use a little bit more line here. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this quinacrid in gold right here, cast a little bit of shadow and, and show the form of the, the kind of the, the saucer shape of that. I'm going to just uh, lightly spray that. And once again, I want to dry this, but I might add just a little more color to that, a little more pigment. This should be okay. I'm going to dry it and uh, add just a few more colors to this. So that's dry. And I'm going to take a little more of my, uh, my uh, quinacridone violet. a little stronger in a few of these areas. And I'm going to just add a little bit here and there. Use some water. And once again, just a little spray to diffuse some of that color. Take a few touches here.
could go a little darker up here. But I think I'll stay with how I have that. And let me dry this. Let's see one mark I want to make on this. Okay, once again, I'm going to dry this. Okay, that's dry. And that's probably about all we're going to do with this one. We can do a little more fussing around with some lines and things, but that should be good enough. So there is another one of mini, my mini paintings from the, the second series of mini paintings I'm doing of sunflowers here. Uh, so have fun with this one. I hope you enjoy it.